Uh, no, I'm not human. I'm a blah 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 blah. Oh my! Okay, someone's at the door, right? People from the cities have already started coming to the neighbors. People have changed a lot. If they come to your place, you let them in. Just be careful, okay? I've heard of people being killed by other people. Now I hear these stories more and more often. An acquaintance said that creatures that look like humans are coming. In a few days, they will tell me that signs can be used to... What si In a few days, they will tell me what signs can be used to distinguish them from humans. You can't stay alone. Something very evil will come and... Who knows what... What's next? Uh, is it safe outside? It's safe to look out the windows at night. And I even recommend it. That way you at least realize what surrounds your house. It's hard to look out during the day. It gets very hot. The light hurts my eyes. Is it better not to leave the house now? Wait. What do we do now? Wait. What do we do now? So, let's summarize. There's gonna be people coming in at night. You decide who let in, who not. It's hard to decide visually. We'll, we'll be able... We'll be told later by the authorities what to do. Look in the windows. You don't know what's going on. And keep your head down. It's dangerous everywhere now. I'll sleep in your cabinet tonight. <laughs> what? And tomorrow you can do it yourself. Okay. Come and see me in the afternoon and we'll talk. Okay, let's leave, I guess. It seems no one else will come out tonight. Let's, can we look out the windows? No. Can I uh, open the door? I cannot open any door. No action whatsoever. Okay. What is this? Okay, there's one more room I haven't checked. That's... Mm-hmm. I guess this... What? Yo, yeah, what? What am I supposed to do? Okay, no one else. It seems no one else will come tonight. What am I supposed to do? I can't do anything. There's like no actions coming forth. I can't. Oh, bedroom open. Okay. Can I sleep? Okay, we're getting sleepy. Good morning, dear viewers. It's the morning weather forecast. The sun keeps shining and the summer heat persists in our town. The duration of this heat has already broken a Guinness record, and it seems that the good weather isn't going anywhere. Scientists are closely monitoring solar activity and predict its intensification. But they assure us, there's no need to worry. So, grab your sunglasses, take your best swimsuit, and don't forget your hats. And most importantly, make sure you don't get sunstroke. Lately, there's been more weird behavior in the town, and experts think it's because of too much sun. Okay. So I have like, three zappy things in the left corner. Okay. Living room! Is that it? Looks like a Balkan fucking house. Honestly. You know what's missing? A rug. On this wall right here. That's the only thing that's missing. Even the furniture is the same. Okay, what's here? This is the cabin. Oh! You did say you were going to stay over. Alright. Hello? Did you see the newscast? It's a nightmare. That is just... It didn't seem that... That bad, mister. Okay, in this heat, every dialogue is going to waste your energy. Aha, uh -huh. so these are the zappy things, yeah? So think hard about who you want to talk to. And one more thing, checking people for signs of guests should be in the dialogue too. 
So be careful how you spend your energies. If you decide you've talked to everyone and you don't want to sleep, have a beer. Go to the kitchen, have a cold one from the fridge. Oh my god, this is this is the game for Saint. Get get Saint over here. You you use beer to go to sleep. It'll use up all your energy and you'll want to sleep right away. Okay. So I'm just supposed to sit around and s survive? That's kind of weird, don't you think? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Let me preface this with a word just in case. During the day, you can talk to your house guests about all sorts of things. In dialogue with, with them, you can check for signs of fake people. Next, you can decide what to do with those who are not human in your opinion. If you don't want to communicate with anyone else but still have the strength, drink beer in the kitchen. There's one in the fridge I brought you to chill. It'll make you so sleepy. Thanks, man. And wait for help. If they call an evacuation, stay close to my family. Now, have a beer and get some rest. You look tired. We just had like a two minute fucking conversation. By the way, I've heard that at night someone walks around asking if you're home alone. Oof. If you open the door, don't say that you're alone. Uh, aren't they going to find out anyway if I let them in? Okay. Goodbye. Okay, so... Okay. Ugh, I'm feeling drowsy from the beer. The best... I didn't read it, man. All my fucking zappy things just went... Pantry. Oh, okay. Nope. Okay, so I'm supposed to go to bed, right? But... No, I, I can't even look. So... This, this is it. Okay. So this is the living room. This was the cabinet, which... You know, the dude is here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> and this is my... Can I look at the window? Out the window? No. Okay. You know what? We're sleepy. We had one beer and we're apparently fucking exhausted. Is it night? Oh. Did someone knock? <gasps> look out the window. Wait. Did I... Did I want to look out, out the window? Oh, okay. In the distance is the neighbor's house. The neighbor is visiting you now. Oh! The lights are on in the windows and the family seems to be waiting for him to leave you back home for dinner. Uh, okay. So he's, he's at the door. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. That scared the shit out of me. You see several teenagers spending time in a field outside the window. They are sitting around chatting excitedly, not paying attention to you. Oh, ain't that nice. I need, still need to put the volume a bit down. A bit lower. So apparently I can't open anything else. This is what I must do. Just talk to... What? This is the neighbor? This is not the neighbor. Is my dad here? Can you call him? What? It wasn't scary during the day, but now it is. A lot of people went out at night. Uh... Tell me something about your dad. Hmm, I can tell you a lot. Ah! Jesus! Before he goes out, he likes to have a little beer. <laughs> oh, okay. It's the guy in my house. I see. He leaves me lunch, dinner, and juice. Today I tried the beer he drinks. Ugh, it was awful. Yo, I, to I told you to get Saint here. It's with beer. It's about beer. I always wanted to watch this game from another channel. Really? Aw, oh, dude. <sighs> Really? Cool. Maybe you can watch it now, or I don't know, some other YouTuber that you enjoy more. Today I tried the beer he drinks. Ugh, it was awful. Why drink that when there's juice? 
A solid point. Oh, please don't tell him. Are you afraid of visitors? Did you get here safely? You know, it's like everything has turned upside down. Dude, don't tell me. No spoilers. Is this a he or a she? Looks like a girl. You know, it's like everything has turned upside down. People now stay indoors or sleep during the day. At night, they go out and do things. I'm still not used to being afraid of the dark, but it seems like there's nothing to fear. Are you sure? Did these buildings remind me of the apartment buildings I used to live when I was little? Or is there? I'm calling that for you. Good luck! Uh, have a good time. Um, have a good time. Thanks. Good luck to you too. We go now. I'm scared to, to be outside alone at night. We're going to play a game. He made me some kind of game where you have to roll dice. That's nice. <laughs> and then walk on objects. I mean, like a chair or a couch. And then you have to build a road. Anyway, I'll show you later. I don't think you will. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs> there he is plopped out. And what's happening to, to his fingers like? Bleh. Goodbye. Okay. Did that exhaust me? Did, who the fuck? It's dead quiet outside. Nobody's there. Even the alcoholics for some unknown reason decided not to show up on the street. Are they afraid of someone? Uh, I'm busy. Okay, the fucking children, so nothing else. Let, let's see who... Who wants a piece of this? I know, pussy. I was hiding in the pub, but... <laughs> I was kicked out. Why? Hmm. Not everyone can handle my temper. But I don't mean to offend anyone, don't get me wrong, it's just, sometimes it gets sickening, you know how it is. What do you think? You let me in? I don't know, I mean, I appreciate his candor. You're not a visitor, ain't ya? Are you sure there won't be any trouble with you? Are you sure you, there won't be any trouble with you? What do you mean by troubles, homeowner? Owner? Murder and fights are against my soul, but I let no harm come to myself. Uh, very interesting choice of words. What I like is eating and drinking. Hey, hey Saint, I found you. <laughs> and talking in a good mood. Is that a problem? Uh, why do you think it will be different here? Or why did they kick you out of your last shelter? Yeah, why do you think it will be different here? So what? Am I supposed to die under the sun now? No, homeowner, that's not for me. As long as I'm alive, I'll keep looking for someone to talk to and something to talk about. If you don't let me in, I'll find luck somewhere else. <laughs> you're a short guy? I, I think you're you're mid, you're just, uh, I don't know, being, being too rough on yourself. <laughs> Is there any luck left in this new world? And if not, everyone is a jerk. Come in. Hey! Thanks. Trusting people nowadays is worth no more than a coin. That's why I appreciate your trust. Maybe. Alright. I can't promise anything. Okay. Now. Okay, I can't go anywhere, but let's check the windows. Again. I can't go here. These are the fucking creepy kids. I mean, what kids aren't creepy, right? Let's check the neighbors with the beer. Dude, you don't even know my height. I'm sure it's 
let, let me try to guess. It's 176. Muscle minnow. Where can I go? I, there's no room available for me to enter except probably my bedroom, right? Close call, I'm 174. Ooh! Hey, hey. Okay, bedroom. Let's go to sleep then. I can't sleep. I can't miss people try wait. Trying to find safe safe place in my house. Okay. How much energy do I have? It's not really showing up all the time. Should I watch TV? That's average for European. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Did she knock? I didn't fucking hear it. Sorry for disturbing you so late. It's just too hot during the day. The TV said it's better not to go out in the sun. Is there any corner for me? Your energy only affects the mornings. Uh. uh who are you? Hmm. I used to live closer to the town. The asphalt heats up pretty intensely out there. Haha. <laughs> Ugh. I used to work as a cashier. Not anymore, though. I got fired. Just didn't have any luck with work. Dude, I feel you. Like, genuinely. I wonder if anyone let this girl inside the fucking house. I kinda wanna let her in. What do you guys think? I mean... Very relatable, I got fired, just didn't have any luck with work, you know? What are you gonna do now? Hmm... I'll try to survive somehow, it scares me of course, with these visitors around and the sun blazing like just hell. Anton... Chigur... Chigur... The fuck is that? Wait... Need to see... Oh, this actor, okay. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, I really want to live. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Spaghettios. What the fuck? Uh oh, Spaghettios. Okay, just what a moment. I need to. Ugh. Sorry, I need to keep my foot elevated. Um, ain't you scared? Please tell me it's gonna be all right soon. <laughs> Help! What should I do? What should I do, guys? You know what? Come on in. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Really? Oh, she's the hunchback from Notre Dame. It's fine. I can take her. If there's something wrong. Oh, God. I'll live one more day. Hmm. Okay. Seems no one else will come tonight. Okay, so I guess just have a beer and go to sleep. Did where are the people that I let let inside? Like the tall, skinny, angry guy and the fucking hunchback. I hope he's not. <sighs> Dude, I guess we'll find out. Okay, let's go to beddy bed, beddy bye. 
We interrupt our morning show for an urgent message. Today at 6.28 a.m. there was a powerful solar energy eruption. Ah, oh, okay, so I can check the morning. Oh, so only during the day I can check them out. This flare was larger than scientists predicted. The air temperature has reached a critical level. Authorities have declared a state of emergency. We urge all citizens to avoid going outside during daylight hours. Now, on to the news. Aliens? People emerging from underground? Wait. Aren't... That's strange. I always thought aliens should come from above, not underground. Very inter interesting perspective. No, this isn't a sci-fi story or a tabloid headline. Eyewitnesses report contact with visitors around the city. One witness encountered a middle-aged man who had perfectly white teeth. It turns out he was one of these visitors. Oh my Jesus fucking Christ. So bad teeth and I don't know, apparently fucking morphed face. Similar incidents with visitors sporting perfect teeth have been observed. So if you want to identify them, check their teeth. Please stay alert and calm. Now, let's move on to other news. Okay, so now it's daylight, so I have the zappy energy stuff. Let's uh, check. If they're visitors. What? Well, every morning gives you hints to locate visitors. You can check the people. Uh-huh. Okay. So, living room. Ah! The, the heat does not look good. Yeah, did you want something? I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Uh, did you saw the news? Sure, teeth. Do you want to see my teeth? Well, look at them. They still have the taste of unhappiness and smoke on them. These don't look very bad to me. Yellowish, huh? Well, don't fuck me with me with your tests. I'm not a visitor. Okay. What? Hey. Hmm. Cabinet. Okay, no one's here. Where's the weird chick? Doggy. Is she in the pantry? Oh my lord! Are you there? Ah. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Hopefully, this will. Hopefully, this will all be over soon. Uh, how do you recognize a visitor? I wish I knew how. I'm so scared that a visitor could be anyone. The only thing I heard on radio was that their teeth are perfect, but. Do regular people not have good teeth? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Hopefully. I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Teeth. Huh. Are you going to make decisions based on teeth? Uh-oh. I have my teeth fixed recently. Although, to be honest, I can't remember when I've been, a when I've been to the dentist. Have I even been to one? God, I can't even remember what I ate yesterday because of fear. Does... does that... Do, do I fit the description? That can't be. I can't be a visitor, yes? Uh, shoot her. No, please don't! Boom. Oh. Well. Alright. Well, let's check the windows. I cannot check that window. Okay. I wonder, did the other guy hear a gunshot or anything? Hmm. I can't do anything. Jesus, no, I'm running out of fucking battery. Okay, let's. 
I don't want sleep. I have enough energy to talk to somebody or just... Or just for dinner. Jesus! Oh, I don't know what to do. Give me a moment. Okay, I should be fine now. Plugged in my heart shirt. Okie dokie, so... Uh, I need to have a beer. Oh, talk to someone. Should I still talk to this dude? Or could someone be at the door again? Let me check. Let me double check. <sighs> mm, okay, so I can only talk to this guy or drink a beer, I suppose. Kitchen, cabinet, living room. Yeah, you want something? What do you think about a cataclysm? The sun is, the sun is exploding. There is a real hell on earth. <laughs> Without metaphors and purgatory. No one trusts anyone. People are literally being burnt, burned alive during the day and people are ready to sell their own mothers for shelter. I want to believe in people, but it's hard to do so. Uh, hmm. Sleepy. Oh, someone's at the door. But first, check the windows. Outside the window stands a neighbor and his daughter. They play happily together, forgetting the horror that is happening. Okay, just for a moment. Watching the, this makes you remember your childhood and gives you a warm feeling of nostalgia. How nice. There are bodies of teenagers on the ground. W wait, what? There are bodies of teenagers on the ground. Someone killed them. It seems to be recent because the blood hasn't dried yet. The picture gives you goosebumps and makes you feel a little uneasy. Yeah. Also, don't I have a fucking dead body too in my house? Oh Jesus fucking Christ. On the path stands a man as pale as death itself. There are strange folds in his skin. The skin seems to be too big for him. You can't see his eyes from here, but you can feel him drilling you with his gaze. You feel fear and pray to God that the creepy visitor will avoid the house. Uh, hello. Oh, Jesus. Let me tell you right away. I'm not afraid of the heat, but I'm still looking for a quiet place. Can I find peace at your place? Who are you? Doesn't matter anymore. You're asking me if I'm a visitor, aren't you? No, I'm not a visitor. But there is something I would ask of you later. I'm not sure yet. Pick up your jacket. No. It's okay if you don't let me in. I'll just keep moving. I'm not gonna beg or bother you. Hmm. What happens if I let everybody inside? Um. Come in. The ceiling is a little low here, but I'll be fine. Man, fuck off! Bitch. Did- How is someone at the door with that dude... Fucking... Crawling outside? Yes. How fortunate we are. We witness firsthand the consequences of human passions. The earth will be cleansed. The sun will do its work. And we will go to a new clean world. That's the fucking good news. What? What are you doing, human? Listen to me. I'll give you a brief rundown. The sun burns and burns us for reason. It bakes sins out of us. We've all done all sorts of things and now the sun is angry. Gives his hit to us. And that's a good thing. All our sins will be over. We'll live our lives properly. Uh, what's gonna happen to you then? What's it got to do with me? We're all going to live well right after the sun helps. The sun will just help us get rid of all this stuff, you know? No? You understand everything. That's why we're alive. 
Uh, fuck off, man. Did you pretend you didn't know anything about the sun? Fuck you, then. I'll save someone else. Alright, bye. Bye-bye. The nice guy at the window is getting closer to you. Damn, you think so? No. No. Wait, did someone knock while I was looking through the people? Too bad we are the witnesses. Maybe we are participants too. Why the long face? Do you need anything? No, thanks. Everything I need is already there. But what I don't have, you can't help me with. Will you read my fortune? Choose where I should open the book and read the line. Uh, what are you talking about? That's how you look at it. What do my words mean to you? Will you read my fortune from a book? Open near the middle, last paragraph. Open at the beginning, top paragraph. Open at the beginning, top paragraph. The dead will come and tell all he will not be believed. And he will not be believed. What does that mean? I need to think now. Maybe I'll see you later. Bye. It seems no one else will come tonight. Let's look at the dead bodies again. Ah, peaceful. Okay. Why the long face? Really? Yeah, really. Okay, sleepy time. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. Solar activity remains abnormal, and the experts predict that it will continue to intensify. There are continuing reports from eyewitnesses about encounters with vi visitors. In response to this situation, authorities urgently ramped up FEMA operations. FEMA is an acronym for the Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA staff members... FEMA staff... Staff members wear yellow hazmat suits. The FEMA Special Committee started functioning recently, but they have discovered a new indicator of visitors. The FEMA Special Committee experts believe that besides teeth, visitors can be identified by dirt under their nails. Well, that's... Like... Everybody has fucking shit under their, their nails. Okay. As reported by FEMA, this was discovered during an inspection of one of the houses pay attention to their nails dude that's not dirt under their nails that's like uh, actually the fingernail falling off man employees encountered a woman who had worked as a nurse for some unknown reason she had dirt under her nails given that visitors emerged from the ground the woman was taken for testing her dangerous status was confirmed if you notice anyone resembling a visitor promptly contact fema members or call the hotline at 04 zero four five one please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight daylight hours now let's move on to other news shite so i can only look at windows during night at night yeah makes sense uh Maybe we should not go there. Maybe we should not go there in the living room. You know. Like, uh, that doesn't sound good. At all. Uh, maybe if we forever seal that fucking door. Uh, we'll... You know? Just... Dude, it was that fucking woman, was, wasn't it? It was that fucking woman, because the other guy did nothing. Kitchen. Should I, should, should I just go to bed and ignore, completely ignore the... You have double barrel shotgun, they need to scare from you. What? Dude. Oh my god. You need to hear this. No. Yes, you do. No. Yes. 
Bun. Oh God, God, Jesus, Peter. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let, let's open this shit. What? Why is there nothing there? I wish there was some warmth. What was that noise then? Dude, why is she so cold? It is chat, simply no. <laughs> uh, I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Uh, hands. Nails? I'll show you. Hmm, looks like I chipped them all. Or something, but take a look anyway. Oh my lord. Shoot her. Do you think my fingernails fit the sign of a visitor? Got it. Ask the other one. The, the other one is cool. He's cool. Dude, I need to shoot her. If I hear her out, can I still shoot her? What well, what happens if she's a visitor and I'm not doing anything? Yes, what? Okay, let's hear her out. You know, I'm so tired of living. Oh, what? Meanwhile, in their other houses, someone must have killed someone, I guess. What the fuck had just happened? Why is it like that? Ever wonder? Um. Why did the dialogue... Uh, hmm. <laughs> well, never mind. Uh, hi. Sorry about the mess. I don't know what happened. <laughs> How many victims are there? Thousands? Hundreds of thousands? Millions? Honestly, I have absolutely no idea. And no one will tell you, so don't piss your pants in fear. So no one will tell you, so you don't piss your pants in fear. No matter what number you come up with, triple it. That's probably closer to the actual number of victims. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I have no one else to talk to. Hey, the body's gone. Wait, why is the body gone? The body of the fucking... Well, whatever. I guess it, the house self-cleans itself. As it, it can't look. Okay, so... Let's have a beer. Ugh, I'm feeling drowsy from the beer, the best. Okay. I can't read it that fast, man. Oh. Someone's already at the door. Oh my lord. There's a small group of FEMA staff standing outside the neighbor's house. I wonder what they are talking about. Maybe they, they're taking oil samples? Or are they looking for a place to set up base? Makes you feel a little better to think that someone has tried to make sense of this nightmare. Yeah, I guess. What kind of weird shit will I see in this? Oh, the bodies of teenagers burned to death on the ground. They seem to have been lying here all day. Two emergency workers are standing next to the bodies and writing something down. You have a natural talent for shitting people. For shitting people. Or shooting people. <laughs> In game. <laughs> Two emergency workers are standing next to the bodies and writing something down. It's good that there are those who can remove the bodies. It's scary to imagine what kind of contagion could appear if the rotting bodies are not removed from the streets. Hmm. At night, if I go closer to the living room, is, will there be noises coming from? Hmm. Yeah, okay. 
Oh my god, he's going to be closer, right? Oh no. There's a group of armed soldiers outside the window. Apparently there, there are small units sent here from the city to provide security for the EC. You can only hear bits and pieces of praises about a pale man with a bare tar torso. Maybe they want to track down that creepy stranger? You feel relieved that there are people ready to deal with a dangerous guest on the streets. Okie dokie. Uh... Bruh. Why are you here? What's going on here? Is everything okay? Why are you- oh, wait. <laughs> What a friendly looking guy. Dude, I'm gonna let him in. Wait, what do you want? Tsune! Are you alone in the house? Just curious. You're just reading someone's fortune. Promising salvation to some, driving some away. Um. I feel the urge to fuck myself over. I'm alone. <laughs> How come? It's hard to be alone. What's wrong with you? Come with me, young man. Oh shit. No one will know what happened when the last guest arrived. The house is left unoccupied for a long time. After your terrible disappearance, everyone avoids the abandoned house. Super. Oh fuck. This was it? Shite. Okay. We need to revisit this. Fudge! Where did I leave that fat guy? Oh, here he is. I listen to your words, human speak. I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Hands. Watch my nose as long as you like. I've trained myself to get useful sunlight with them and open beer caps. Ah, he good. Did you uh just want to check it out? I thought you're just an evil man. Nah. Um, I need to check on you. Teeth. Show you my teeth, and I've stood up for my truths with them. I've defended all my truths. See for yourself what I'm really doing here. <laughs> Save my teeth with beer. It's good for cal calcium. Without it, you'd have lost your teeth long ago. Why would I. Wait, why do I have to shoot him? Cure out. Understandable, of course. There's so much going on right now, but we'll live on. We we'll live on. Uh, all right. Wait, I can talk to him some more, just so I can get sleepy weepy. Hey, dude. What do you think about the cataclysm? A lot. And believe me, my friend, this is far from over. This is just the beginning. The scale has not. Yet been filled enough for balance, the universal powers. It takes more to be burned than the righteous flames of the sun. But no, my friend, these sacrifices will not be in vain. Someday we will all understand the true intentions of the sun-faced one. Fuck, sometimes at night I really miss my wife. She was a saintly woman. But a real piece of work. Yeah. I completely understand you. I do recognize a visitor. I don't think I know the plain truth. You ask me who are the visitors? So here, I'll answer you. They are my hearty friend, visitors from other planets. They are the descendants of aliens who came to Earth when the sun was younger and the grass was greener. They planted them in the soil like sprouts of evil and they have been growing for eight years and now they have crawled out and well, oh my god. Fuck, I wish I had a cold beer. Yeah. After all that fucking conversation, me too, buddy. Me too. Hey, dude. But, yeah, did you want something? Who are the visitors? This is something humanity has never faced before. They just slap a label on something unknown and hate it. As if this has never happened before. People are fundamentally flawed. What can you do? Okay, now I'm sleepy.
Someone's already at the door. Let's check. Oh, the hazmat suit. Jesus, thank Christ. You think so? Okay, so it's this dude again. Why are you here? How's it going here? Is everything okay? Why are you ignoring my question? It's, uh, are you alone in the house? Just curious. You're just ringing some misfortune, promising salvation to some, driving some away. I have other people taking shelter here. You're lucky tonight. I can hear someone whispering in your rooms, but who knows what will happen tomorrow. Uh, okay. Can I rest at your place? This is a very strange question. Where are you heading next? Where did you come from? I don't remember anymore. I don't care about it. Wait, she- wait, Jesus, I thought it was a coat, it's her fucking dead husband or something. <laughs> I'm very tired. If I don't get some rest, I'll just collapse from exhaustion. Is your partner sick? That's my husband, he died. Oh, I can't bury him properly now, it's pointless to let him go now. Come in. I don't think I'll stay long. I just need a break. Yeah, you're good. There we go. You see what's going on? Fucking hell, Amogus. <laughs> he has an Amogus t-shirt. Dude, the developer is a total meme. You see what's going on? Fucking hell. How's it going down here? What do you need? Just curious, that's all. Actually, I've got a little scheme. You could easily make some money. With the sun feeling so good, you can make money without even trying. And all the losers are scared of something, but you just need to hustle, bitch. Uh, what are you offering? Survive. What else is there? We gotta make plans while we can to heal with the sun. Keep moving, you know? Let's go, shall we? Um... Come in. Uh oh. Now we're talking. Finally, someone with some sense, bitch. Okay. Tum 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 tum. There we go. It's so quiet at night. Hi, can I come in? Have you been watching the house? What? Haha, <laughs> no, of course not. It's rare for a house full of people to be so quiet at night. We got a hustler. Yeah. He must be a fucking TikToker and drop shipper. Uh, it's rare for a house full of people to be so quiet at night. Someone forgets themselves in alcohol and yells. Someone screams in pain and burns. Someone just screams with unbearable sorrow. Uh, who are you? I'm a traveling doctor now. Hospitals are chaotic. I highly advise against going there. I've operated on people. I'm a surgeon. There wasn't enough funding in our hospital, so I've done a lot of other jobs that aren't typically mine. I just go around helping whoever I can. Come in. I hope I can help someone. Yeah, me too, dude. Um. What? Is someone playing a fucking prank? I heard the knock. Mother trucker. Hmm. Betty Biden. The doctor. Okay, finally. Oh my god, look at so many energy points. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. The Valiant FEMA staff members have organized the quarantine zones. 
Anyone showing signs of visitors is directed there. Some people express concern that the identity of visitors remain unknown. However, FEMA assures that they are merely ill individuals in need of assistance. Additionally, FEMA has identified a new indicator of visitors, intensely irritated blood red eyes. It's just a prank. <laughs> yeah. This information was discovered through experiments with detained with detained guests. According to FEMA experts, the irritation is caused by exposure to bright sunlight. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Now let's move on to other news. Yeah. <laughs> Such a silly prank. Now you're dead. Yeah. I need to stay more comfy in my in my chair. Also, I need a snack. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, well. living room. So this guy is still there. Let's go to the cabinet. No one's here. Kitchen. Oh, dude. Hey, what's up, bitch? Mm, do we need to stick together? Fuck, that's fucking awesome. No shit. Like, I'm really glad you let me in. You're fucking awesome. Not like every other motherfucker in this house. You should have fucking told him fuck off on the doorstep. I think it's better to turn them into the FEMA and be done with it. You can't get you can't get fucked up with groceries like that. We're the boss anyway. And as they say, the boss is the boss. Hey hey hey. Hmm. I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Hands. Oh come on, I'm fine. Do you really think he's an alcoholic? I, I don't do anything with my nails, look. Okay. No, you don't think so. I wash, I just didn't have time to rinse my hands today. Usually my nails are clean, bitch. What up, bitch? I need to check on you. Your eyes. My eyes have been itchy these days. Do you think it's from the sun or what? Oh my lord. Oh fuck. Some kind of disease. Hmm. Hear out. Listen, I just came out with a scheme. Let's take money from others so we don't shoot them in the face. Imagine how much we'll make, bitch. What? Should we think about it? Oh. What? What are you guys talking about? Huh? I completely forgot about this one. Hmm? I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Um... You have some blood there on you. I didn't notice that when you were outside. Hands. But yes, I've operated on oh so many people. With these hands, I could tell you so many stories, but maybe another time. <laughs> Please look. I try to keep these arms toned so I don't slack off. Who knows what tomorrow might bring. Hmm? Mm, eyes. Huh, yeah. I'll show you my eyes. Not sure if you've noticed, but I have polychoria. That's what it means. Oh, cool. you think having two pupils in one eye would be handy, but alas. Uh-oh. I hope it will be over soon. Uh Oh, SpaghettiOs! I need to check on you. Eyes. Do you want to check my eyes? I'm guessing what the result will be. What will happen if I match the sign? Jesus fucking Christ. What the fuck? You bet. Could be otherwise. Are you gonna kill me? Too bad I'll never know what happens to us all. Dude, I'm gonna shoot, shoot you again. It's scary to die. Wait, can I 
Get a blindfold first. Nah. No. We're good. Well, I'll let you... I'll let you to a dock. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Why does she have, like, trash bags? Oh, dude, are these the bodies of the people I shot? Where's the fat guy? Did I shoot him? Hmm. I need to get some rest. Um, I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Hands. Hands. Wait a second. My hands are tired from carrying the one they refused to save. Okay, you're fine. If you want to shoot, just shoot. I don't have the strength anymore. No, I'm sorry. I'm just really exhausted. Oh, dude, I can't talk to her anymore. What's with these fucking noise, man? Just imagine you paid lots of money for teeth and then this happens, dude. It's like a thousand euros per teeth. That's what I... That, that's what the prices I saw in my country. It's a lot. They're still making noises or some shit, man. Dude, the entire squad of soldiers who were here yesterday are dead. The bodies are strewn all over the street and one of the bodies is missing a head. Did that pale creepy stranger kill them all? Oh... You know what? I want to check the windows. I'll be with you in a minute! Oh, well, there's the head. A pale creepy man stands in the road and smiles. He has someone severed hair in his hand, wearing a helmet. Oh, it's a soldier's head with a grimace of horror frozen on his face. You're very uncomfortable with what you see. Oh, okay. Squad wipe. <laughs> a neighbor's house, which was recently painted white, burned down to the ground and it's now completely black. The fire seems to have died down recently. Did someone set it on fire on purpose? What happened to the neighbor's family? Did anyone survive? Why did they burn the house down? Your head is filled with anxious thoughts and a feeling that in of incomprehension and helplessness. Oh my god. Okay. When can I wear the top hat? Hello? I'm from the FEMA crew. We're here to help you. Um, how can I trust you? You must have seen the news. We were here. I can also show you my ID. How will you help us? First, we have to do some investigation. Based on the results, I will be able to take further action by notifying the management. You just need to wait a little. Do you have an action plan? Of course. It's not like we can... It's not like we can act spontaneously. We'll take... Any one person with us for examination. Since you may have been exposed to solar radiation, we'll check the health of one. Based on that, we'll, we'll decide if you all need help. It can be anyone. Do I have to pack too? No, you are as I understand it, the owner of the house. You stay here for now. We'll take the man away for a while, then decide what to do next. We'll issue instructions afterwards. I'm not taking the man with us, we're leaving. Oh, so you just happened to pick the fucking doctor, huh? I actually read Iris instead of the IRS. Dude, I'm so fucking shocked. Goodbye. Goodbye. Doing a half dance before answering the door every time. What a mess. Did you see that? What kind of society is this? The beasts around here are revealed. Finally, nobody's pretending. What do you mean? Haven't you been to other houses outside on the street? All the social norms and other crap don't work anymore. Might, might makes right now. 
might makes right now if you can outfight others you want an established order how many houses have you switched i haven't been anywhere for a long time but everywhere i see chaos fear blinds people to so many things you still have some order and that's interesting i like to see you keep it why can't i check them hmm. come in an intelli an intelligent decision we'll see the first now rules your life and you either accept it or get in trouble fuck let me in are you hysterical <laughs> did something happen no are you hysterical i don't know what to do people ah kill it ah dad dad who did this drink some water <laughs> why did they do that drink some water why did they do that drink some water i, I don't I, I don't know they're quietly sitting with daddy in the kitchen and then they did, 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 did something and they they s set the house on fire and while i was running they were just laughing come in i'll shoot you later okay can, can you help me i'm scared okay man's face on a child you, you, you can't tell if she's 10 or 50 huh i'm not from around here i don't like staying in one place too long can't roam around as much anymore i'm getting too old for that what are you looking for here in town i just want to rest after this damn sun the visitors started popping up more crawling everywhere i'm telling you we need to snuff them out they're trying to pull something on us do you want to kill the visitors aren't you doing the same thing or do you just tell them to shoo you're not stupid right you kick them out but tomorrow they'll tear you apart they won't even remember your name get it you gotta be careful with them that's the thing come in whatever i knew you weren't a pushover a real man we'll mix it up with these visitors they won't come near us by a mile Okay, that's very reassuring. Oh, for fuck's sake. Anybody home? God damn. Saggy tits. Looking for someone? I'm not looking for anyone. I just need a place to hide. The whole neighborhood has been kicked out and no one knows where to go. Now I'm running around in shock looking for a place to live. Why did they kick you out? They said there was a big sunstroke or something on our house. What? There was there was a sunstroke on our house. A dozen yellow suits kicked us out. Somebody was grabbed, taken for tests. Some were released. Fuck off! I don't have room for you anyway. Well, don't open the door to those yellow ones anyway. Well, you generally don't open the door anymore. <laughs> I'll bring my people over here and help you save yourself. <laughs> okay. It seems no one else is going to come tonight. Okay. Well. Nice. Hey, hey, let's go to bed. Good morning, dear viewers. You smell decay and death. Wait, wait, wait. What? I didn't... Oh my god, the indie dev, if he will, he will ever see my stream, like, let the pop-ups longer, stay up longer. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. FEMA continues to identify new signs of visitors. According to their data, attempts to photograph visitors result in severe blurring in the photos. <laughs> Just morphing. This effect can only be observed with film cameras. Unfortunately, the reason for this phenomenon ha <coughs> has not been determined yet. However, FEMA urges citizens to use this new information to identify visitors. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Now let's move on to other news. Dude. Cabinet? 
Wait, no one's here? I left like 10 people. Dude, they're, they're whispering. What the fuck are you whispering about? Son of a bitch. Keep your eyes open. The visitor could be any one of us. I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Photo. I don't really like taking pictures. The flash reminds me of a thunderstorm. Makes me panic. No, you didn't get it. I'm not taking pictures. Here out. Thanks for understanding. You know, I don't like that stuff. The pictures, the sudden flashes, the sounds. Brrr. I'm not interested. I want my mama. I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Hands. And I know how to cut my own nail nails already. I'm not very good at it yet. I... Look. Hmm. Look at those nails. I cut them myself. I did it. I did it. I'm going to go sit alone. I right, check on you. Oh, let's take a photo of you. Photo? I'm not really into photo f f photography. Will you show me a photo later? You're taking a picture of a girl. The photo came out a little blurry. The girl ran up to you without waiting for the end of the photo shoot. Mm, thank you. I don't like it. Don't ask me to take any more pictures. Hey, what up, bitch? Is the end near? <laughs> Wait. You don't mean... This word? Oh, you mean the fuck are you going on? Well... Fuck knows why. I think photo is solid evidence. Hmm. So I think the sun's gonna run out soon. And without it, it won't be hot outside anymore. We can't live peacefully as before. Do you have a question for me? Yes, I need to check on you. What do you want to check, photo? I don't like having my picture taken. If those pictures don't end up in the trash later, I have to take action. Do you understand that? You're taking a picture of the person you're talking to. You wave the photo around to make it show up faster. You notice that the picture seems fine, but it's being snatched out of your hands. Give it to me. I'll throw them out myself. Where? Wait. Didn't I le let the tall guy in? Where's the tall guy? Did I kill him? No, I can't. I, I couldn't have, right? Where's the tall guy? What happened? Okay, no one's in the pantry. Dude. Where's the tall guy? I need to get some rest. I need to check on you. I'm sorry. I know. Let's take a photo. Don't you think this is a mockery? No, I help, help save my husband. But now you want to mark his death? It doesn't have to be in the fucking picture. Just move. Oh shit, he ate them. You think he ate them? The guy in the suit? I, I know for a fact. I, I've let the... Uh... Big guy. You want to mark his death? I'm at a loss for words. Do whatever you want. Don't touch me. You take a picture of the person you're talking to. You don't see anything on the ordinary dead man was in the frame. It makes you think. I'll just go away. Okay. I don't remember this stain being there before. What happened? <laughs> Let's let let's talk some more with these guys since I have enough. I right, check on you. I'll take a photo of him. Let's do it. Only thing I'm really sensitive to light. I might flinch. You're taking you're taking a picture of the person you're talking to. You think the picture is okay, but the face it looked very smudged. Uh oh. That's what I'm talking about, bitch. Gonna take another shot. Oh yeah. Wait. Did we check his hands? Nah. I'm gonna shoot you, dude. I mean... He didn't kill anyone yet, right? Cure out. What's the catch, bitch? Take these suckers for a ride, not me. Let's keep them in shape, otherwise they will relax. So they forget, thanks to whom they are here and will not pay. No. What's up, bitch? I need to check on you some more. I need to check your teeth. 
I can show you some teeth, bitch. My brother-in-law got his teeth done. He got smashed. Guess what? Lost all his fucking teeth. <laughs> oh, I gotta show you. Uh-huh. Mm. Good, huh? What are you doing? Wait. Why am I supposed to shoot him? Dude, the game really wants me to shoot him, so I guess I'll just do that. Right? Nah, I'm blowing your fucking head off. You four cone kidding me? What the? Well, hope you enjoyed that. You son of a bitch. You ate him. Is the end near? The end will come whenever a human being becomes an enemy of each other. We are now far from death fate. That's why we need to stay in the pack. A pack is a good thing. But keep your eyes open. A pack will fall apart without a strong leader. A leader must be willing to make any sacrifice for his pack, including killing. Damn. But what is going on in the living room every fucking time? Another nice memory for the kid, as usual. She would be better off outside than with me. I'm a monster. Okay, let's check the windows. Oh yeah, there's nothing there. You're looking at your neighbor's house, or the place where your neighbor's house used to be. Only a ghostly silhouette remains. You're devastated by what you've seen. It seems to disturb you even more to realize that it's not the evil guests who are to blame. But people with paranoia, it brings you anxiety. This is a very good game. Like, I truly appreciate it. Can't wait to play it when it's done. You see a steak with a helmet skull on it. There's some black burned skin left on the skull, and the teeth look like someone pulled them out. The head has been here all day. The whole grim display looks like a threat, surely left by that creepy pale visitor. Hmm, you think? Window. Uh, there's a dead man hanging, suspended from an arm post with a sign around his neck. It says, Visitors are not welcome. Looks. Oh, okay, so we're fighting pack. That's good. Looks like the poor guy was mistaken for a guest and killed in a lynching. The thought of violence engulfing a once peaceful and quiet town breaks your heart and makes you long for a quiet for quieter times. Hmm. Okay. We're with the FEMA team. We need to do a survey on our neighborhood. The magnitude isn't enough. Last one. Uh. Wait, oh, that, the examination procedure is quite exhausting. Right now your man is in rehabilitation. After he rests, we'll bring him back right away. Why was the one not enough? The sample is too small. The boss first said to take one at a time, but now we can see that we need more, so we went out again. No, I'm not interested in those examinations. You don't get it. We didn't... Give, give you a choice. We're just doing our job. You can't say no. Oh, jeez. We'll do what we need to do and leave. Okay. Hello? What do you think of that one in the suit? Um, He's doing his job. Alright. These are the times, aren't they? You've got to be careful. Is that okay? Uh, I'm kind of busy. Can so can you come back later? Why would I want him to come back later? Okay, fine. I'm kind of busy. So can I come back later? I understand. Of course. I'll come back later. Just say, are you alone in the house? I have other people taking shelter here. Getting ready? Do you know what you're getting ready for? This is the last days. Didn't they tell you? Dogs rule the world. And only dogs will be here. Have a good stay. That's good. At least they let the dogs live. 
<laughs> um, but what comes next is a terrible secret. Oh my god, you're back. It's not for long. Uh, uh. Saint's teacher is back. I just walk around and observe what's happening, how the world is changing. And I don't yet feel that the glaciers are going to melt anytime soon. Looks like we're out, we're in for birds raining from the sky. What does that mean? Do you think things will get worse? Is there any point in thinking? I don't think we should bother our heads with it now. Whether you keep talking or hide people, it's all the same. I have no thoughts on what to do. Uh, what about other people? Why do you need this knowledge? No matter how much we've looked at others, we've got nothing but caricatures. Okay. Punk, 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 punk. Dude, who's pranking me? Who the fuck is pranking me, man? Dude, I'll come out with my bear mace, sons of bitches. I wonder if uh, Tech or Cleo or uh, Mr. Lazy Nara. We're going to watch is anybody watching my streams if they miss miss it eh, probably not just a curiosity of mine it's no longer safe to live on the surface of the earth you board up all the windows and barricade the doors shit so no more entries no more looking outside and opening the door after conferring with your tenants, you decide not to go out into the outside world anymore. Did I ever? You pray helplessly that someday this will all be over. If this nightmare ever ends, but the hope is still alive, at least for now. Oh. Olga? Dude, that fucking explains like everything looked like a fucking Balkan country. They're probably one of my neighbors or something. 